If you've ever been bought a gift from a friend or family member that doesn't know the first thing about guitars, then you've most likely fallen victim to the I Love Guitars t-shirt or similar novelty item. So in this video, I'm going to guide you through my favorite guitar accessories so that you can arm yourself from unwanted gifts. I'll leave links for everything mentioned in this video in the description below. Let's get into it. No guitarist likes changing strings, so anything that speeds up this process and gets you back to playing guitar as fast as possible is a worthwhile investment. Simply fit the grip bit onto a cordless drill and begin winding the tuners on any style of guitar for extra fast removal or tuning up of new guitar strings. This is also very useful in a live gig string snapping situation. When it comes to capos, you can't beat the G7th Performance Capo. What you'll find with many cheaper clamp style capos is that they apply too much pressure, causing tuning issues and a lot of frustration. What sets the G7th apart is that you simply squeeze the exact amount of pressure on, leaving you with perfect intonation with no buzz. I've used the same capo for the last five years and I can't recommend it enough. However, if you're on the market for something slightly more quirky and fun, you can always pick up one of these. If you're running out of floor space and you need an easily accessible and secure way of displaying your guitars, then you should consider picking up one of these Hercules wall mount guitar hangers. These use the weight of the guitar to lock the guitar in place so that you'll never have any unfortunate accidents. And it also ensures that it keeps it well out of reach from any kids running around the house. Hercules also have standard guitar stands with the same locking system if you need something more portable. Over the years of working as a full-time guitar tutor, I've noticed one common thread that links all my guitar students. They all walk in the door, get the guitar out of its case, and then while either taking off a jacket or getting a music folder out, decide that this is the best way to balance a guitar. To solve this, I bought this handy guitar dock which clamps to any table or desk, and I strongly advise you to pick up one also, if not for yourself, then for your guitar's sake. If I was to recommend one guitar pedal that every guitarist should own, then I'd say buy a loop pedal. The two loop pedals I would encourage you to have a look at would be either the Boss RC5, which is packed full of features, or a much simpler and affordable TC Electronic Looper. The reason I suggest loop pedals before any other type of pedal is that they are great practice tools for both rhythm, lead guitar, and simply writing riffs or guitar parts. Not to mention hearing what you sound like when recorded can be quite revealing, which neatly leads us into our next item. It's never been easier or more affordable to record yourself at home. So if you've ever wanted to get into mixing, mastering, and recording your own music, then grab yourself a Focusrite audio interface. This allows you to record directly into your DAW of choice to begin producing studio quality recordings from home. I recommend the Focusrite 4i4 and a set of AKG headphones, along with Reaper, and possibly a MIDI keyboard if you plan on using a lot of virtual instruments, such as drums or keyboards. Every guitarist appreciates a nice looking guitar strap, and Ernie Ball has a great affordable range of different colors and designs to choose from, which once again leads to our next guitar accessory. Most guitarists have experienced a guitar strap coming loose and falling off while playing live at some point, which is why my next recommendation is strap locks. Simply remove the original strap buttons from your guitar, replace with the new buttons. After this, fit the remaining parts onto both ends of your guitar strap, and now your strap will lock onto your guitar easily, only releasing when you want it to. So this is basically cheap guitar insurance. These are personally my favorite guitar picks and many other guitarists for good reason. They're smaller than your typical pick, which might take some getting used to if you're used to a standard size guitar pick, but they have a good sharp point for precise speed picking and a good grip so you won't have any unfortunate pick slips. If you haven't tried these before, then grab a pack and try them out. If you spend any time reading tabs online like most guitarists, then you may want to try out Guitar Pro. This software allows you to easily create and edit tabs while listening back through Guitar Pro's library of virtual instruments. The loop function, along with the ability to change the speed, makes for a great way to learn your favorite songs. If 
If you're looking for a much needed amp upgrade, packed full of features and onboard effects, then the Boss Katana is well worth looking at. First of all, it's a great sounding amp, and with the ability to download and edit your own patches using the accompanying Boss Tone Studio software, it's a no-brainer. If you enjoyed this video, then consider clicking both the like and subscribe button, and feel free to browse my channel, I've got lots of animated guitar lessons that might help you level up your guitar playing. See you in the next one.